Hello, welcome to video number three, the final video on the restoration of my uh, Eames Lounge chair in Ottawa. This video I'll be covering the restoration and repair of the leather upholstery, uh, the, um, and the reconstruction of the chair and I hope you like it. If you do like the video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to be looking at repairing the, the, the leather. If you remember, I showed you the leather and there was two small cushions in very good condition, fairly good condition, should I say, that they will be bammed up or whatever I can get to feed them and keep them in good nick uh, and bump, bump up the, the insides, fill up the insides. So, okay. And this is where the problems are. You can see there's a lot of cracking and some tears. And I'm hoping that I can get these repaired. But I'm going to clean these today. I just have some soap and warm water. I'm just cleaning off 60 odd years of dirt and grime off it uh, just to give it an initial cleaning so uh, it'll make the process easier later on. So I've teased open these um, buttons uh, and got them out. And as I thought, they're, they're all uh, one unit, so I'm going to have to try and use them. I don't know if they're going to be long enough to use again, but I'll have to figure out something on that, or get new ones, I don't know. And uh, teased open the zip, which was quite uh, stiff, as you can imagine. And lots of feathers, feather down, or down feather, should I say. So you can really see the, the wear and tear on this. the holes so with that this will be repaired by patching from the inside be gluing a piece on and uh, and then filling and coloring in the rest so that's where we're at so every every job is, is a job closer to finishing these zips are extremely stiff and tight with all the dirt and grime on them but we'll get through it and uh, it'll be easier next time because they'll be cleaned up a bit Damage there. And the cushion. The cushions aren't too bad, Nick, really. The back is in good, Nick. Slips in good, Nick. So it'll be a question of whether to uh, fill more down into these. I can open the ends here and just stuff more down in, or put new foam in. And I have a choice, so I'll see on the side again. We're now filming the rare breed of man with hoover. Not seen very often in the wild. Not seen very often in the domestic environment either. So here are the two main cushions off the ottoman and the seat. Um, I've spent six euro on a, um, a leather jacket from the charity shop and I've cut out patches here to fill the areas. Um, I'm using Bostic uh, well, we're cleaning off first of all with this, uh, just with some, some cleaner uh, to clean the areas I'm going to be gluing. And I'm using Bostic uh, Impact Glue uh, to stick the leather. Because you can see I've cut the strips out to size uh, in the areas. Uh, just put the hardener in the, uh, in the glue. We're giving it a good mix and we're off. Stick it. So the way this glue works is you put a layer on each side, the side you're sticking onto and the bit you're sticking on, uh, one layer on, leave it to dry for about 10 minutes, uh, put a second layer on, leave it to get tacky and then you press in, um, you, you press it onto where it's going. It's a messy job but uh, it just takes a bit of time and a bit of patience. I'm using a roller here just to get an even, um, to get bubbles out and make sure it sits, sits even and it levels it out nice. It was a good handy thing to use.
just making sure it's even on the other side as well on the underneath that it hasn't left it in uh, crinkled or anything it was worthwhile checking it is worthwhile also having a, a second pair of hands on this job it just makes it easier uh, for pulling around and having stuff ready and it just makes the whole thing a little bit less complicated and less less lonely when you're doing it with someone so we finished uh, patching all the tears so I'm just going to show you so here's the surface of the leather the next day when it's all dried up so you can see these deep this is where the tears were these ones here and this one here and this wasn't actually torn but we've strengthened you can see we've strengthened most of most most of the back of it sorry excuse me we have strengthened most of the areas that were that were weak and whatever but I'm going to try and fill these uh, these large gaps where the tears where you can see it there you can see the, the piece underneath so this is what I'm using leather it's one I had from before it's leather and vinyl repair compound from a company called SEM so I'll give it a go and see how I get on it's got to be done in layers so it'll take a while so it's a matter of layering it on uh, and I was trying to keep the, the good leather the, the un, unbroken leather clean um, and then drying it with the hair dryer And then it's just a matter of keep keeping at that, keep layering on and keep layering on until you get it as even and as clean as you want or as you need. The cushion fillers are in surprisingly good condition so what I plan to do is add some foam. Uh, I have two different types of foam, I'm going to see which is the best and see which it needs to plump them up and that they should bring them back to life. Interesting. Uh the label here, I don't know if I showed you this, but let me just see if I can get this in focus. Uh, it says special size number 670 back, so that's the 670 chair. Uh, it's feathering down is the filling. And the, the interesting number is 753, number 753. And I'm wondering, is that the 753rd chair? That heel made. It'd be interesting if it was. So I bumped up the small cushions and put them back in uh, to see if they would be okay as they are. Um, on the bigger cushions, um, I did use the foam. Um, I had two, as I say, I had two different types of foam: a lighter and a heavier. I think I went for the heavier foam, this blue foam because it, uh, it gave a little more um, support to the cushion and uh, it actually turned out quite well. So I was delighted with that end of it. So this is just me struggling to get these cushions in. They weren't too bad actually. Trying to get the shape back in. Um, close to what they, they should be looking like. And this is where I was trying the lighter foam. I was just experimenting here to see which which one looked best or felt best. So um, I think I went for the, the blue, the, heavy, the, the stiffer foam in the end. But um, it's always worth trying out your options and seeing which, which still when, when you're not an expert, uh, as I am not to see uh, which, which looks best or which feels best. So this is a leather dye that I am just, um, I was going to just do the parts I repaired, but it was so bad all over, I decided to, to do dye the whole cushion um, and just try to make sure it was even. So I just repeated that process till um, I felt the colour was right and I was happy uh, with the overall effect. Putting back the buttons back in was a difficult job. I, my needle wasn't long enough, which made it uh, twice as difficult, but eventually it just was tedious, making sure I lined up with the uh, hole underneath and uh, 
Mary, you can't see it off camera here, Mary's came across with the vice grips and we pulled it through um, the other side once once we got through and, and, and tied it up and that was it really, it made it easy. It, it took a while, it was tedious, but we got it done. Hi, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I've enjoyed the restoration immensely. I've learned an awful lot and I hope that you've learned something from it too and maybe uh, give you the, the encouragement to go and restore your Eames chair. I have a beautiful chair and ottoman here at the end of the, the uh, process. It took a bit of time, but uh, it was worth it. Um, one thing, one correction I will make is the PC7 epoxy I used, uh, it failed. So uh, I would recommend using the best epoxy that's available to you. Sometimes the forums aren't the best way to get information, and that's where I got that PC7 uh, recommendation. So uh, I end up using Gorilla uh, epoxy and it's worked out fine. Um, so just use whatever's available to you. So if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. I have loads more restorations coming up. Um, they're never ending, and uh, uh, hit the like button, and thank you.